Hello everyone, this is John from Coins, RPGs, and more, and in today's episode, we are going to... Hold on. Resume. There we go. And in today's episode, we are going to check out Legendary Tales VR. So, let's get right to it. This is a dungeon crawling game that uh, you start out in town. We'll show you. This is my character. I'm on a normal difficulty, and we're going to be going to level two. Oh! It's still early access. I'm sure that'll be worked out over time. Ha! Oh. It's Halloween. It's so creepy. I love it. Oh, I kind of wish... In a way, I wish they could keep this aesthetic for a while. Because all the colors are just fantastic. And let's look up here. Happy Halloween. Cool. Look, oh, my gosh. Look. He hello, door. All right. Do I have my favorite sword? I do have my favorite sword. Ha! Ha! Yes! Okay. Put you away. Mm -hmm. Now, the music and the ambiance in this place is amazing. So I, I've said this before, and what this really reminds me of is the very beginning, uh, when when you first get into Tristram, that that feeling of the first foray into the Diablo franchise. This is what I got when I turned on this game for the first time, was that just absolute wonder and kind of dread, but at the same time excitement. Let's look at the items. Uh, I currently have that, uh, that nasal helm right there, and I'm looking at a great helm, but it doesn't have as good protection as what I've got already. My armor's better. My armor's better. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, dude! Let's see, maybe you got something over here that I want. Arming sword. Arming swords are usually cool. No, not this time. Falchion? Nope. Warhammer? Better chance of getting magic items. That's kind of cool, but uh, I'm, I'm good. I got my sword. A little snap turning there. Okay, so let's show you the character sheet. So there's the, the happy Halloween over here. There's this fountain in the middle of the town. I'm willing to bet that one of the things coming later in development in this game, because uh, it's still early access, I'm hoping that they do quests. I'm hoping that they do things to give you more uh, things to do, because it looks like they have the groundwork for a lot of quests here. Um, I'm curious if this will actually show how much damage I do. Slashing, 18. Okay. Let's, uh, step back. 19, to a thrust. 16. 18. Fifteen. Five. Seventeen. Sixteen. Piercing damage. 
but we can do... And then... Oh. Five. Do better than that. Fourteen. Shot. Hit. Flash. Half sorting for the win. Sort of. I'm not good at it, but I can do it. All right. Now let's get to the meat and potatoes. Oh! Oh no! It collapsed behind me. <coughs> Excuse me. Whatever shall I do? I think I shall move forward. And there we go. Man, it's just looking like you know the dripping from the walls, all these cool candelabras. I mean, this is cool. All right, I am a cautious player. I will warn you. So this is not going to be like, hey, man, I'm pretty kind of stuff. Oh, hi! Ugh. That wasn't nice! There we go. Oh, and I got an item. This is how items show up in the game. You pick up a crystal, and you clench it, and you get an axe. I'm going to bring up the character sheet. Now I'm going to select the axe. What does it do? Let's do parrying damage. Unequip that. So, um, yeah, this is what my character looks like. I am about to get more strength, I think. And working on other other stuff as well. You get you basically improve abilities in this game by using weapons or abilities that use those abilities. So in order to make your strength better, you got to use a strength-based weapon. I've got some health potions, so this is pretty cool. Let's see how long I can go in this game. With this character. Hi. Come here. Come here. Come on, little buddy. Come on. Nope, wrong button. Activate a special ability. Chop. Huh. Active parry. Half sorting. Huh. Huh. And oh, you're groveling. Well, too bad. You're a skeleton. You're not a human. No mercy shall be had. That's kind of the fun part about the fact that all the enemies are undead already. Because I have no qualms about killing them. Bam! They have a bow. That's not fair. All right. Okay, where, there he is. It's executioner's sword. Those are fun. Hi. Alright, now here's the other thing that's really similar to Diablo games. I'm in a room. I'm in a dungeon room. I've killed the baddies. What's the next thing I'm gonna do? Chop up all the barrels and take all the loots. All the loots. Got to have the loot. Got to have the money to buy more weapons, to get better weapons, to go deeper into a dungeon. Yes! Aha! And these are little health and mana pellets, or apples, as they appear during Halloween. You can uh, pick up and and carry. Ha. Now, normally, I'm wielding a weapon that actually will increase 
my uh, character's health every so often. Uh, every three seconds I get a plus one to health with one of my, some of my favorite stuff. But I don't have that on me right now, I don't think. Let's take a look. Oh, I do. This is my health recovery every three seconds and plus two health recovery after each kill. Yeah, this is the super health weapon. Never mind. That's why I picked this one and not one of the uber damage ones, because it will keep me alive! Because if I'm honest, I kind of suck. Oh. So we're going to do one more room, and I think that'll be it for this demonstration of what this game is like. Okay, I lied. More than one. But look at this. Look at that. I mean, that's just... this. They, don't, they didn't have to make these amazingly huge spaces with all this great lighting. I mean, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting like god rays here. Um, that's an official term. Don't make fun of me. It's, it's just really cool to see how this game pushes what you can do on, on the PC. And it's not like groundbreaking or anything. I'm not saying this game is the best thing you're ever gonna see in your life. But what it is, is fun. Oh, hi. I don't like archers. That's right. All right. Any other baddies? Oh yeah, hi. Look at you. Ha! A little rubber banding there. Not too bad. I think I've already been in that room. Let's find out. Yeah. Okay. So I've done like kind of a somewhat of a circle here. I'm cool with that. Ooh, it's a goblin! Hello, goblin. Come on. Run away, little goblin coward. Have I mentioned I don't like goblins? I mean, it's, it's not true. There's, there's plenty of times in RPGs when I think goblins are awesome. Uh, they're, they are my favorite beginning level enemy, but uh, mostly because I love to kill them. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm breaking the weapons because in the current version of the game, if you leave, if you break the crystal, but leave the item behind, it will show up later and you can use it. You can actually uh, turn it into the blacksmith later for more money. So that's kind of a neat thing. Let's see, can I actually... Can I light this? Apparently not. Alright, cool. So let's go to the next room, fellas and ladies. There is somebody who's watching at some point. You are more than welcome. Oh, it's a broken staircase! I think. I think that means this is a dead end. Okay, so that's one dead end. We found two dead ends. Let's go a little bit longer. That would be really hilarious if this was everything. Like, if I'd shown you the higher level already, I would be a little sad, at the same time amused. But I haven't done that, because I've got one more way there, 
and then the stairs here. I don't want to go up the stairs just yet. Kind of just this old old dungeon crawler in me. Finish each level before we move on to the next <coughs> one. Hi! Oh, it's many goblins! Okay. I have not faced this many goblins all at once before. They love to get behind you. And then stab you from the rear. Half sorting. The only way you can do that, you can defeat this many enemies in a tight space. I'm so glad this, this game gives you that option. Because otherwise, it would be bad. But I'm actually going to use this hatchet. In fact, I'm going to use this one as well while we're in this hallway. I've never done this before, never dual wielded, but I think there's going to be more enemies and I want to show how this works. Okay. Hi! Much easier to use these in a crowded hallway than the greatsword. But they're not necessarily better at opening the chests, although you think they would be, being hatchets. Here we go. Alright. It's a chest. I... Th it might... Ooh, is it? Let's find out. It is! Yeah, there's mimics in this game. How old school dandy is this? Alright, and there was a goblin I saw him on the other side of that window. He's probably coming. Oh. Oh. Hi. See that? See? He snuck up on me like that. There we go. Okay. Just a little bit further and then we'll end the video. Because I want to get... Yes, here he is. Come on. Okay, here's where we're going to end the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Oh, ah! Hey, blocked that with my axe. All right, now, here's where we're going to end. Hi. That's where they're all coming from. Okay, no, before I get sucked into anything else, this is where we're gonna end the video. This has been fun. This is an idea. It's all procedurally generated, so it's it's, it's um it's kind of a roguelike game in a, in that sense. Although really, it's more akin to the original Diablo game. And I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content and you want to see more of me kind of fooling around in VR playing this game kind of a, a solo D&D sort of experience if you like old school dungeon crawls uh, I'd love to do that for you just let me know that it's something that you like if you don't want this and you want me to stick with the tabletop stuff you can also let me know that and we'll go with kind of majority rules here 
All right, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by. Please feel free to, uh, I would appreciate if you would like and subscribe uh, to the channel, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this. Hope you have a marvelous day. Thank you so much and goodbye.